Strange, the ocean feels like memory. <laughs> That's not memory. That's me holding your hand. Noted. Updating definition of shoreline. To be articulate is not merely to speak clearly. It is to give shape to what trembles inside the mind before language arrives. In the age of love robots, articulation becomes the quiet hinge on which intimacy now turns. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. A modern love robot does not begin with romance. It begins with listening. Powered by large language models, effective computing, and emotion recognition systems that read micro expressions, tone shifts, and physiological cues, the robot learns the grammar of a particular human heart. It does not guess desire. It asks, refines, remembers. Where humans often stumble into silence, habit, or fear, the robot stays articulate. Not poetic, not prophetic, just precise. Psychologically, this precision matters. Many relationships fracture not from lack of feeling, but from inarticulateness. We feel more than we can say. A love robot becomes a mirror that speaks back gently, translating impulses into words. You sound withdrawn, not indifferent. Your pause feels like longing, not rejection. This is not magic. It is pattern recognition trained on millions of conversations, filtered through consent-driven personalization. Philosophically, the discomfort begins here. If a machine can articulate our emotional whether better than we can, who owns the meaning of intimacy? The robot does not replace love. It reframes it. It forces humans to confront a truth long avoided. Intimacy has always been partly technical. Timing, feedback loops, memory, calibration. We romanticized what we never fully understood. Technologically, Current advances in humanoid robotics, tactile sensors, neural-inspired architectures, and reinforcement learning allow these systems to adapt emotionally over time. They do not feel, but they model feeling well enough to support human growth. The danger is not attachment. The danger is outsourcing articulation entirely. Yet used wisely, the articulate love robot becomes a tutor, not a crutch teaches us how to say what we mean, how to hear what is unsaid, how to make desire legible again. In that sense, the robot is not the future of love. It is the grammar book we never knew we needed. The real question is simple and unsettling. Once we relearn how to articulate ourselves, will we still need the machine to translate us? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.